Yo, what up fam? So it's Saturday, it's a brisk 63 degrees out. Let's go work on the dirt bike a little bit. All right, everyone. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm moving to Alabama in the next couple months. That's right, I'm going to live in the mountains. And the funny thing is a lot of my friends don't even know yet at this point, so I'm sure I'm gonna get DM'd a lot, but hey, Alabama is the state of 18 tracks. If you don't believe me, check this out. I think I brought the weather back with me from, from the north. I think these people appreciate it in South Florida. Look at this, Poly Sport. Yeah, buddy. I am so glad that pretty soon I'm gonna have my own garage and I'm not gonna have to drive. And clearly I need a garage. Man, these things look beautiful. Boy, have I missed you two. Anyway, I got the Poly Sport OEM green plastic kit. I got the black lower fork guards, like the 2020. I got brand new Emigs. I got some levers, obviously, Savage. I got the graphics, which I'm not gonna show you, the just the straw graphics, but you're not gonna see that till the end. And then I got the Moose E-Line carbon fiber pipe cover, which fits. That's why it's out of the bag. I had to test that real quick on my own. Let's go. Now for the shroud graphics, I got the FX factory effects ones, but here, I'll give you a little hint. Oh, wait, oh. Yo fam, that was easy to install. There you have it guys so the idea was i wanted it to look like a 2022 kx 250 two stroke if they were going to do it the good thing is is the bike has some use so whoever buys it can ride the hell out of it and enjoy it and not worry about keeping it in a1 shape i ended up custom cutting the uh, graphics up a little bit but yeah they're for a 450 it was just a little bit different than the stock so you know with the holes and things so you have to cut that up and then i reused these these 250s over here so it just looks like the new ones motor is low hour so we're good there it's an awesome bike i mean we got this carbon fiber cover i wanted to keep the stock pipe stock motor stock everything so that there's no issues there levers came out really good they're foldable they're black they say kx on them uh, the Emig lock-on grips are awesome. I think it came out really good with the blue bars. Um, and then the same thing over here. We got our levers fixed up. As you guys know, we fixed up the chain and the tires are in good shape. They're not awful. They're not dry rotted or anything. So I'm just gonna keep the uh, tires on there. No need doing any changes there. And this 250 decal, I kind of screwed up a little bit. You know, it wasn't the perfect shape. So I had to cut it and I screwed up. But whoever buys the bike, you know, they can do full graphics anyway, number plates, they can do their own tires, they can have the suspension worked if they're gonna go and race at the track for their weight, whatever they wanna do, man, she's ready. He also did the uh, black fork guards, just like, you know, the 2020s and up, so. Yeah, man, matches out, man, she's great. All right, I'll do this real time with you guys. I just turned the gas on, she's been sitting for a week, and I have not started it yet, and I got sneakers on, so that kinda sucks, but let's see, one kick. Honest to goodness, man, she runs, she runs awesome. Oh, and another thing that I did was I took the Tusk gas cap, which fits on my 450. I put it on my 450 because that's like the race bike, so to speak. And then I put my stock 451 on here. Both fit perfect, both don't leak. So this is the bike that's going for the OEM look. So it is what it is. 